So we're on Clinton Road, which is considered one of the most haunted roads, not only in New Jersey, but I guess the United States. And we're here with uh, the two Marks of Weird New Jersey. So if we can get you guys to introduce yourself and sort of explain what the heck has brought us to Clinton Road. Why is this so well known? He's Mark Skirman. And he's Mark Moran. <laughs> So what, what brings us to Clinton Road? What, what, what got us here in the first the first time when we started uh, Weird New Jersey 20 years ago? Well, I think after we got about 45 or 50 letters saying, this is the most cursed road in America, you got to check it out. That's what we did. And unlike a lot of other roads, it wasn't just one legend. This one seemed to have everything going on, every paranormal, supernatural thing you could think of. It had uh, an old castle with devil worshippers, it, it had haunted houses, it had um, hellhounds, hell KKK, <laughs> everything. Right. Uh, you know, uh, people walking around in black robes in the woods and uh, um, strange creatures, uh, Bigfoot type creatures snow in August, yeah. you name it, this <laughs> this story, this, uh, and then there was the ghost boy at the bridge, uh, at the, at the dead man's curve, it's just a, it's just a, it a, has everything you want for a haunted Halloween ride, I'll tell you that, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's like the bible of uh, haunted roads here in New Jersey. Now, you guys mentioned that you're not out to prove or disprove anything, that in your words, you're folklorists. Now, now explain that because I think a lot of people equate what you guys do to we've got to we've got to go find a ghost tonight. That, that's what my friends have been saying. Like, are you going to go looking for specters and Jersey Devils? What, from your perspective, what is it you're out to do? Well, we're just providing entertainment. I would imagine we uh, we don't like to dispel the rumors or the legends. We just like to pass like them along. To foster them. <laughs> uh, yes, you know, what you said is true. We, we are we are collecting folklore. We are uh, chronicling um, this sort of unwritten folk history of New Jersey and elsewhere in the country that has largely gone unrecorded. Um, it had been passed down in an oral tradition like uh, folklore and myths always had been. And uh, we just decided to really document it and write it down. Check her. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it has led us here today. We could have added to the history of Clinton Road now. Yeah. If you hadn't given me that warning. Well, you know, these, these stories have been around for ages, and nobody was really talking about it or writing it down. And that was really our, our, our purpose in doing this whole weird New Jersey thing, is to write down these stories that people are telling about these legends. And... Uh, when you put them all together, it's pretty amazing. This road uh, alone has legends that go back a couple hundred years uh, from back when it was uh, 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 mining iron for the Revolutionary War, and uh, there were said to be bandits and uh, uh, hoodlums living in the woods back then. So uh, people were warned to stay out of these gorges uh, uh, for just that reason and you know the same legends are, are sort of being told today but in slightly different form um, there are a lot of cautionary tales about uh, what might happen to you if you get trapped back here there's always stories about um, a black pickup truck that follows your car if you're a stranger to the road and chases you down and then mysteriously vanishes in the woods behind you um, it's uh, it's it's enough to <laughs> definitely put you on edge when you come late at night with your friends, and I think that's really the whole point of uh, the trip, because there's no lights here. No. I mean, it is pitch black. Yeah, yeah. except when you see the, the, the lights that you see, the mysterious lights in the sky over the reservoir here, which uh, are, have been known to uh, appear quite frequently. What are some of the most bizarre uh, occurrences on Clinton Road? I know there's something, is it, we were actually discussing, is it flesh-eating albinos or flesh-eating midgets that put a sofa in the road and, and if you stop to move the sofa, they'll come out and, I guess, eat your flesh. That's one constant. What are some of the more bizarre stories and, and some of the most common? Well, the most common one is the ghost boy on the bridge. Uh, you're supposed to throw a quarter over the bridge and then you will 
get this quarterback in return, they throw it back out of the water. That's a pretty basic, uh, that's your basic ghost along the road story here. The, um, the couch story was a good one. Um, if, you, if you're ever driving down the road and you see a couch placed in the road, uh, do not, do not get out of your car because that's how they trick you to stop and get out of your car. And then these um, uh, cannibalistic albinos will run out of the woods and, uh, and jump on you and you'll never be seen again. Um, so they are albinos then? Well, a lot of people confuse. The, the legend is really more of a, a, a legendary group of people called the Jackson Whites. Uh, the Jackson Whites are not albinos. They're uh, they're said to be a a mixed race of uh, Hill in, inbred Hill people. Uh, not to be confused with the Ramapo Indians. Totally different, right? All right. Is there something that comes up? And now people are still coming to you guys and saying, "Hey, a few months ago something happened on Clinton Road." Right. How often do you do you get wind we, of something new? We, we do. At least once a month, we'll get a story of uh, kids taking the road at night and just something bizarre or weird happens to them. And sometimes, you know, they'll write the whole story down and write it in. And, and you, when you read between the lines, really nothing has happened to them. But they are just totally <laughs> scared they, out of their minds. They themselves yeah. up so much <laughs> that by the time they get here, they're just uh, terrified. Um, we had so many stories that we had to... Um, Put out an entire special issue, uh, focus on focusing on nothing but Clinton Road, and uh, what was it, a hundred pages yeah. uh, of stories, like four stories per page. Yeah, so there was, it was hundreds of stories. It was just uh, too much, and it was too good. You know, there's the just the stories about people going up to the the castle and you know seeing the uh, the satanic scriptures scrawled on the uh, stone foundation of the basement inside. Uh, just very unexpected stuff, and, and uh, mm, here comes a black pickup right yeah. now, <laughs> waiting for right unsuspecting you. travelers. Uh, it's a bit more dark green. I think yeah. we're yeah. safe. Uh, <laughs> well, it gets a little darker. Out yeah, at night it'll look black. Yeah, everything's black at night, right? <laughs> all, the, all the paint jobs on every car. And of course, there's some real life horrors along this road too. Especially remember the Ice Man. He used to dump his bodies along this road. Oh, the hitman. The, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Richard Kuklinski, this was one of his uh, favorite dumping grounds. And he he was called the Iceman for a good reason. He used to, um, uh, the people that he killed for the mafia, he would uh, freeze their body uh, for months uh, so that after he dumped them and they were frozen solid, uh, it was impossible for uh, forensics to... Um, estimate the time of death because they hadn't decomposed. They, they had been killed months before, but they hadn't decomposed at all yet. So they were finding bodies that were like partially thawed, but were still frozen solid on internal organs. So uh, it was pretty pretty clever, but uh, it was gruesome finds up here uh, along the road in uh, black uh, garbage bags. You know, we actually got a uh Autograph picture of him from prison. That's right. Oh God, he's dead now. But, yeah. Uh, Did he send it to you? No, yeah. his, uh, his cellmate, I think, uh, was a was a big fan of ours. So uh, his cellmate was a subscriber and had uh, Richard um, uh, sign a, an issue for us. And uh, apparently, he got quite a kick out of our uh, Clinton Road stories that involved him. That's nice. You have a, a fan club there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have a lot of prisoners uh, on our on our subscribers list. We never ask them what they're in for, but <laughs> no. Um, Sometimes it's best not to know. Right. Have you guys ever personally experienced anything strange or unusual on this road? Um, myself, never. But I can definitely psych myself up to be uh, a scared <laughs> to uh, <laughs> ride on it. <laughs> I think uh, one of the the most uh, interesting things that we've seen was uh, when the water levels go down and you look over the the bridge, either um, the bridge over the gorge or the bridge at Dead Man's Curve, and you see just how many coins are down there for people that come visiting late at night and testing the the uh, legend of the Ghost Boy. It's it's. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Bless you. 
cut. <laughs> it's uh, nice to see that uh, that many people are paying attention to the legends and uh, partaking in them, you know, to, uh, you know, uh, so that they live on. Now, we've noticed a few trucks just parked along the road here. I have noticed. What do you think they... <laughs> where are these people? Yeah, where did they are go? Are they in the woods? No. Explain, so th there are some legalities involved that you can't just go hiking off into the woods here. Can you explain that some of them, um, you need a, a parking, a park pass, or a, what is this exactly? I, I'm not sure. Well, this is some sort of watershed permit. property, okay. so this is a, a, a tremendous tract of land that is part of the, uh, the watershed uh, that supplies um, a lot of North Jersey, uh, down in Essex County especially. Um, so, you know, they don't like you <laughs> playing around with our water supply uh, for the most part. You can get uh, permits uh, to, to hike and... Um, to see Clinton Castle, or with the remains of foundation of, I guess. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's just stones left of the castle. They had to uh, knock that down. I think it became unsafe, um, or maybe just caught on fire a few cursed. times. And the road has changed because I've noticed in some pictures you guys have published that it was much rougher. It was a rougher road. It seemed that now we haven't exactly passed many houses, but it does seem that there are a few We've more passed residents. Any houses. Well, <laughs> or one or two, maybe. But but it seems that the road itself is in slightly better condition than it was maybe that a decade or two ago. It could have been paved. Yeah, it, it has definitely been repaved. Uh, it, as we get further north up toward uh, Waldwick. Uh, I think it gets pretty rough again. There were times that we we've been down here that it was just a disaster. I mean, just it was it was no road in between patches. The entire road was a patchwork of uh, asphalt patches. Now, where does this road rank amongst all the haunted places? You you or haunted? I shouldn't say haunted. Folklore amongst the, the folklore epi hot spots, epicenters. Uh, where does Clinton Road rank? At least in in New Jersey and, and uh, this the general area? Is it one of the top in terms of reportings? Is it somewhere in the middle? Does the hype exceed the actual um, reports? Well, I think you said it all there, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should join the weird New Jersey team. As far as um, legendary roads go, this, this road has far and away more stories about it than any other road in New Jersey that we know about. Um, I mean, there are great stories from Shades of Death Road, and of course, with a name like that, how couldn't there be? Uh, but as f in terms of sheer volume, uh, Clinton Road is far and away uh, leads the pack as far as uh, its uh, legendary tales. And you've said that a road just parallel to us, I forget the name, it's just as creepy, right. just as dark, but nothing. <laughs> Paradiso, yeah, that, right? That would be Paradise Road. And uh, or even Union Valley, they they all run um, parallel to each other through this same forest. They have no stories whatsoever about them. You know, I, I I can't explain why this this road is just there's a vibe that people get off this road that they don't get off neighboring roads. Uh, it's not the area; it's the the road. So I can't explain it. Great, thank you guys. That was fantastic.